Hey Jackals, in today's DaVinci Resolve video, we'll take a look how to make a countdown timer as a template that displays whole seconds or as many decimals as you want. I won't be making any animations like the one you see now, but if you want to know how I made this one, you can check that video. Now let's get digital. So what we'll end up with is a template that you can open in the effects, type in the name and put it onto the timeline, similar to this one and you'll be able to change some of the parameters. In this case, we'll just have the text. So to make the effect, open the media pool, right click in it, make a new fusion composition. You can give it a name if you want, put it onto the timeline and you don't have to change the duration because this will automatically change once you change the duration of the clip. So I'll simply select the clip and go inside the fusion page. So what we need is a text node you can find it here, connect it to the media out and type something in just so you can see that something actually shows up. But you don't want to display letters, you want to display time. One way how you can do that is to right click in the text field and use time code. This is a count up timer, but we want to make a countdown timer and not like this. So I'll simply remove this. And if you go to my website, I have handy expressions. In this case, you'll want to either use the milliseconds, if you want milliseconds, but in this case, we'll use the countdown timer and we'll use this piece of code and this one. So the first piece of code, as you can see, it will get the FPS of the timeline. So this won't matter if the timeline is at 60 FPS or 24. If I type this in, so this has to be an expression, so right click, make it an expression, I'll paste this in. And if this doesn't show up, as you can see, the text node is red, just change the double quotes with single quotes and this shows up. It shows up as 24 and that is because my timeline frame rate is at 24. If this was set to 60 or something else, then that would show up. Now why you need this? is for the next part because this takes in the x value to calculate the actual value of the time. So we actually have to put this inside the text node, so I'll copy this, but I can't put it inside this one, I actually have to make a new one. I'll also make an expression and paste this in. And again, this does not work, you have to have single quotes for the first time and then if you change this back to double quotes, it will actually also work. But this could just be my PC, who knows, as you can see. I won't go into too much detail how this works, but what you need to know is that the X value is obtained from the text one. This is the X and this is where we use the text. But if you want to use this expression in one text node, what you actually have to do is inside, let's say this text node, I'll simply select the expression, cut it and I'll go into settings and make an expression in the comments. I'll simply put this in. And then in this text node, I'll simply copy and paste or cut the expression from here, so inside here. And as you can see, the double quotes now actually work, but if it doesn't, simply use single quotes. So now we have milliseconds and the easiest way to do this, so you have full seconds, one decimal, two decimals, three decimals or more. You can simply change the number here, maybe to five, F, F stands for float. So now we have five decimals. And how you can easily change this, so it displays how many decimals you want or just a whole number is to use the right on function and simply shorten the end. Now this may not look as nice if you have more than 10 seconds, so let me increase the duration. Now currently it's a little bit buggy because I have to clear the cache and increase the right on function as you can see. So it does have a few limitations and let's see how this will actually look like when you get to less than 10 seconds. As you can see now it shows up as two decimals, but I think in this case it could actually look nice because it makes a sense of urgency. 
but what I wanted to show you is the jump that this makes by default let's see how this will look like in this case the left looks best now we'll just make the text with no animation so if you want to know how to make animations for the time where I have videos on that and I'll link them in the video and in the descriptions down below but for now let's just make a quick macro so that we can use it in the edit page so right click on the text node make macro make one you can give it a name at the end so what you want in the text node we have the text so inside here you could enable the style text this would mean that you can actually change the string but I wouldn't do that I would actually advise you that you change the number here to how many decimals you want to show as a maximum so in this case 5 would be the maximum then you want to be able to change the font the style and the color as for the color you need to enable all of them you also want to be able to change the size maybe you want to adjust the horizontal anchor so you can find the horizontal anchor here so this is the left one center and right and I'll just enable all of them and lastly you want to enable the right arm function and this is under start and end so enable these two options and lastly you also may want to be able to position the text so we can find that under the layout and center position so layout and center position now I'll save this as a group so that if I need to go back into the fusion page and change anything inside the text node I can do that so save as a group go to fusion templates edit this will be a title so go to titles and you can now give it a name save it and then inside the edit page go to effects type in the name you can see it here it shows up by default it's at five seconds I can now increase this and as for the options I have all of those that I've enabled so I can change the font I can change the color change the size I can adjust the anchor position and I can also change the right arm function to show as many decimals as I want and as you can see five decimals is maximum because that is what I had inside the expression and then I can also change the position of the text which could also be done by going to the settings tab and use the position here but if you have the option to do it here so you don't have to click to the settings and make the adjustments here but if you do we have the option to also zoom in and out and now when I play this you will see what the issue can be and this all has to do with horizontal anchor so in this case the horizontal anchor should be to the left and that's it if you found the video helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you want to see the winch result and other video editing content twice a week and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out I'm Simon and until next time jackals keep it digital Thank <laughs> you.